This program is brought to you by NewsWorks in cooperation with the City of Eau Claire. This program is simulcast on WRFPLP 101.9 FM. Hello and welcome to Meet the Candidates. I'm your host, Heather Rigby. This is a program brought to you by NewsWorks, an imprint of Valley Media Works. This program introduces you to candidates running for local and state level elections. The next election is November 6, 2018. Today I'm joined by Jody Emerson. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Um, why don't you start by letting us know what you're running for and what's your party affiliation? Sure. Um, I am running for the 91st Assembly District and I'm running as a Democrat. Um, the 91st Assembly District pretty much encompasses the city of Eau Claire. Um, there's not a part of the 91st that goes outside of the city limits, but not all of the city is within the 91st. So, uh, but for the most part, if you're in the city of Eau Claire, you're in the 91st. All right. So what prompted you to run? Well, I think that running for office is really just the next step in a long line of community service that I've done. Um, whether it was being, you know, the PTA president when my kids were younger, Girl Scout leader, soccer mom, band parent association. Um, and then as my kids got older and grew up and left the house, um, I thought I needed another um, volunteer opportunity. And so I started volunteering at an organization called Fierce Freedom that fights human trafficking. Through that, I volunteered myself actually into a job. <laughs> but um, I, Fierce Freedom, uh, reaches people about human trafficking by prevention and public awareness and we were finding that we could do all the outreach that we wanted to but if we didn't have a set of laws in place in Wisconsin um, to catch the perpetrator and protect victims it didn't matter what we were doing and so as a part of that job I also took on some legislative work and in seven excuse me in five years I was able to get seven bills passed down in Madison on a bipartisan level and just really felt like I had um, a knack for being able to bring people together from opposite sides of the political spectrum um, over a topic and, and really was getting people to agree on stuff. And so I don't know if it was the mom piece of me, you know, where it was saying, hey guys, you know, we need to share, we need to be nice. Um, but I was really getting tired of all the partisan bickering down in Madison. Um, I saw really good bills die just for the fact that a Democrat introduced them and a Republican was in power. And so that was really hard for me to think of, why aren't we doing something for the people of Wisconsin? We were really doing things more on party affiliation. And I thought I had a talent for bringing people together. And so that's what really made me decide to run right now is I feel like we've gotten some, some work done in the human trafficking realm. And it's time for me to take those skills and start working for the people of the 91st on other issues as well. So what would you say sets you apart from your opponent in this race? There's a couple things that set me apart from my opponent. Um, one, I've been in Eau Claire all my life. Um, I've lived in the 54701 zip code, um, except for college for my entire life, whether growing up or now that I've been raising my family. Um, so I, I know Eau Claire, I know our history, I know the struggles that we've gone through, um, you know, when this building that we're in right now was once a tire factory and when it closed and seeing how our community has struggled to what are we gonna do with our downtown and now we've come out of that and we're a thriving community um, that still has its struggles, um, but I've got that knowledge. And then also, I've got the legislative background. Like I said, I've passed bills, I've written bills. I know how to get people to work together in Madison. Um, and so I can bring both my history from Eau Claire and my legislative work um, together for the people of the 91st. All right, what would you say are um, maybe the top issues that you're hoping to address in the legislature. Yeah, and then there's several that I think have been ignored over the last few years um, since we've been in strict Republican control. Um, one of the things that's most important for me um, is making sure that we get fair maps passed. I think if the legislators feel like they have to answer to their constituents, um, it's gonna set the tone for all kinds of other things that need to come. And so getting nonpartisan redistricting of our maps taken care of uh, first and foremost is so important. I also think it's really important that we put local control back with local governments. So, you know, that a school board or a city council or a county board not only has the ability to raise tax levies, but also that they can put constraints on, um, you know, it, whether they want a CAFO 
right next door to them, whether they want a sand mine in their town, things like that. Um, the people who are breathing the air and drinking the water should have more control over what is happening right next door to them than simply the 99 assembly people in, in Madison and the 31 state senators. So that's really important. Um, I also believe that we need to be better funding our education system. We've got hardworking teachers and hardworking staff members and we need to support them. Um, and so making sure that our education system is fully funded, uh, making sure that public dollars stay with public institutions is really important. Um, I'm really not in favor of expanding the voucher program like it has been, um, so that's important. Um, also, we need to work on building up our middle class. Right here in the 91st, in the city of Eau Claire, 46% of the people living in Eau Claire are um, considered working poor or living in poverty. You know, our middle class is disappearing. We in the county of Eau Claire have e uh, one of the top disparity for income in the entire state. So we've got a lot of people that have got a lot of money and we've got a lot of people that have no money or very little. Our middle class is disappearing and so we need to do what we can to build up that middle class. So that's very important to me. Um, also making sure that we protect our environment. So if, you know, if we've messed up tax code issues, if we've messed up other things, that can get fixed in you know, the next session. If we mess up our environment by putting bad policies in place, we're talking about needing generations for us to get back to where we came from. So making sure our, our environment stays pristine and wonderful is so important, especially here um, in Wisconsin where it's so beautiful. Um, you know, our natural resources are, are a state treasure and we need to treat them that way. All right, well, thank you for all of that information. <laughs> is there anything else that you feel voters should know about you going into this election? You know, I think it's really important that um, we make sure that people are, are engaged. Um, and so as an anti-trafficking advocate, it, it, it was up to me to bring attention to the state legislators about anti-trafficking issues. That's the same way I'm gonna govern if I'm lucky enough to be elected. So I would need to rely on experts um, in, in our area to keep me up to date on what situations are going on. And it can be citizen experts, it doesn't have to be a paid position. And so I really will um, want to have a lot of contact with the, with the constituents um, if elected. And so there, you know, there, I'm gonna have more listening sessions, but really my door is always gonna be open. Um, I look at being a representative of the 91st as truly representing the 91st. Um, down in Madison, and so it's very important that people feel engaged. Um, it's really important that people are getting out there and voting. It's a midterm election, and so oftentimes our voting totals are lower than they are in a presidential election, um, but we're at a critical point here. We are seeing all kinds of things going on at our state and our national level, and, and we need to keep that energy going. We need to make sure that people are registered to vote and are voting, and so whether it's voting early um, or voting on election day, um, people really need to use that voice. That's what's important right now. So thank you for this opportunity to get my ideas out there. Um, you know, if people have questions, they certainly can contact me on my website, um, emersonforassembly.com, or find me on social media. So thanks for the opportunity. Well, thank you for joining us, and thank you for watching. If you are interested in supporting This program was brought to you by a cooperation between NewsWorks and the City of Eau Claire. NewsWorks is made possible by continuing community support. If you would like to volunteer or make a donation, please contact us via phone at 715-839-5067 or online at valleymediaworks.org.